we are going to talk about indices today. Indices is just a simple way for you to keep track of the number of alphabets. So for example, a to the power of 2. Now this just means that there are two pieces of a, a times a. If you have three pieces of a, you will write it as a times a times a. So what happens when you have something like a to the power of 2 multiplied by a to the power of 3? This means that you have two pieces of a multiplied by three pieces of a. So all together, there are five pieces. And you can see that you can have one rule, or the first rule of indices, which is a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equals to a m plus n. So what happens when you have a m divided by a n? Now if you remember, a m a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n can be written like that in fractions. And if we were to write down m pieces, you know, m pieces and then n pieces below, each set can be cancelled. And you will be left with a m minus n. So the total number of pieces left is just the total number of pieces on top minus the total number of pieces below. For example, a to the power of 3 divided by a to the power of 2. This is the same as writing a to the power of 3 divided by a to the power of 2. And there are 3 pieces of a on top. 2 pieces of a. Cancel, 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 cancel. You're left with 1 piece. So a 3 minus 2 is equal to a to the power of 1. But you don't really have to write the 1. So 1 piece left. So the second rule of indices is simply a m divided by a n is equal to a m minus n. Now let's say you have a to the power of 2 to the power of 3. Now let's look at what does this mean. This means that you have two pieces of a inside these brackets. So and you have all together three sets of them. So this is the first set, second set, and the third set. So all together, there are six pieces. So you can really do this by inspection. So if we use another example, a to the power of three, and four sets of them. So you have three, and then three here, then 3 here, and finally 3 here. So all together, there are 12 pieces. So it's like a collection of number of A's. So the third rule says that A, M to the power of N is simply A, M times N. Let's look at the next one. A, B, to the power of n. So this really means a times b n times so on and so forth. a b to the power of 3. I have three sets. One set, two sets, and three set. So I will have 3 pieces of A multiplied by 3 pieces of B. We can show that A, B to the power of N is equal to A to the power of N times B to the power of N. So finally, we come to the last rule, which is A over B to the power of N. So this is the same as the previous case. You have n sets of a over b. So a over b multiplied by a over b multiplied by a over b n times. So if you were to put in some numbers, 
a over b to the power of 2, I will have two sets. And I will have a to the power of 2 over b to the power of 2, because this two fraction just means a times a, and the denominator multiplies with the denominator. So you can show by inspection that a over b n is simply a to the power n over b to the power n. Let us recap. The first one, law number one, a m times a n is equal to a m plus n. Case two, a m divided by a n is equal to a n minus n. So the third one, a m and then to the power of n is equal to a m times n. The fourth case, a b to the power of n is equal to a n times b n. And the last case, last law, a over b n is equal to a n over b n. So even though you can prove this using the same method that I have shown you previously, it is my recommendation that you memorize this. And you need to be able to do this really well. Let's look at a more difficult example right now. You are given this complicated looking expression and you are asked to simplify it. So for this kind of thing, the first thing that you always do is to open up the brackets. So we want to open up these brackets or we want to get rid of the brackets, we have to make use of rule number 3. So if you remember, rule number 3 is a m, a to the power m, and the whole thing to the power n, and this is simply just a m times n. So let's do this. So 2 to the power of 3 is 8. x squared to the power of 3 will be x to the power of 6 using this rule and y to the power of 3. I thought it's implicit but we are really using rule number 3 and rule number 4. So a b to the power of n is equal to a n times b n. So we are using rule number 4 first and then we are using rule number 3. So let's work on the denominator. So 10 square, 100, x square, y to the power of 6, times 5 to the power of 3 is 1, 2, 5, x to the power of 3, y to the power of 12, over 4x, y. So the next step, let's immediately simplify the 100 and the 1, 2, 5. So 1, 2, 5 divided by 100 will give you 4, 5, collect everything we have. So 8 times 5 is 40. How many pieces of x do you have? 6 here, 3 here, there are 9 altogether. And for y, 3 and 12 will give you 15. So you have 15 pieces of y. And the denominator 4 times 4 is 16. x. 3 pieces all together, 2 here and 1 here. So finally y to the power of 7. So this is equals to, so 40 and 16, the common factor is 8. So if we were to divide by 8, we will have 5 here and 2 at the bottom. So now x to the power of 9 divided by x to the power of 3, you know, you can just cancel this. Cancel 9, you're left with 6 pieces. So cancel seven, 7 pieces of y, you're left with 8 pieces. So it's just x to the power of 6 and y to the power of 8. Before we end, let me add a word of warning. Now rule number 4 says that a, b to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n multiplied by b to the power of n. Now do not confuse this with 
a plus b to the power of n. Every time you see a plus or minus inside the bracket, you need to be very, very wary. This is not equals to a n plus b n. This is wrong. You can work it out yourself. a plus b n is the same as a plus b times a plus b times a plus b n times. Let's try a plus b to the power of 2. So a plus b to the power of 2 is a square plus 2ab plus b square. There is this extra term here. So do not write a plus b square to be equal to a square plus b square. You will be missing this term. 